Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. Today is the day that I finally check out the jazzy piano version of Bad Valentine. I think this is my fourth reaction to Bad Valentine, but this is my first listen to the jazz version, which I've heard so much about. I stood you up on that and died Gave you no reason why Hold on. Is it in a different key? I stood you up on that It's quite a bit lower. Yeah, it sounds like the, uh, the original is in F sharp minor. This one is in D minor. Okay, just an interesting observation. Also already noticing the different chords here. Uh, on the piano part. Definitely already a different vibe. Okay, let's start again. I stood you up on that and died. Tempo's way slower too. Gave you no reason why. Decided I cut you off. How'd they get that piano out there? Without a tear in my eye. I had to hide when I saw you. On some table for two I knew I'd never see the sunshine with you So I spent my night with the moon Oh yeah! I thought I told you I would miss a pure I worked you out from the start Violets are blue If you are a fool to try Cause I'm a bad valentine Oh yeah! I, I don't know what I was expecting when I was picturing like the jazzy piano version. I guess that maybe I was picturing like a bit of a swing beat or something. This has some very serious overtones, some melancholy, some uh, tension and suspense in the in the strings and the the piano chords. I do love the subtle differences in Angelina's performance, her interpretation. These little elements that make it sound jazzier in her vocal performance, even though there's always so much jazz influence in AJ's voice. This has some different little nuances that fit this version so much. Uh, let's go back a touch and I'll point some of these out. I knew I'd never see the stars out with you. So I spent my night with the moon. Yeah, so with the way she kind of whispers the with, yeah. Um, and then the moon has that fabulous jazzy vibrato in it. And just the way she treated the melody there on the spend my night with the moon. Instead of, I think it goes, not with the moon. Something like that. I thought I told you I would miss a pure. I want you out from the start. Yeah. Right there especially, yes. Very different there. Uh, the way she cut off that, um, right. I want you right from the start. Wait, how does it go? I want you out from the start. <laughs> I love the way she did that phrase so much. There is so much style in that phrase. So much. Let me hear it one more time. I want you out from the start. Oh. Yes, I love how she made the start short. The way she sang the word from with a little touch of a slide on it. And the difference on the warned as well. Uh, on, on the upbeat version of it, the upbeat kind of pop soul version of it. There's some grit on there. There's some power on there. Here, there's some extra fry. I want you right. So again, it's just kind of that little bit more of that tension, that unease here. That phrase, oh my gosh, so fabulous. Let's start there one more time and we'll continue. I want you out from the start. Roses are red and violets 
skies are blue If you are a fool to try Cause I'm a bad valentine I'm a bad valentine Just had a feeling it was time To let the flowers die Maybe I've gotten so mean to you Cause you're always so nice You even smile when you are hurt Oh my gosh, yes, I hate to stop right in the middle of the phrase there. But again, I just want to point out some of the differences in this interpretation and how they work so well. Just had a feeling it was time let the flowers die Maybe I've gotten so mean to you Cause you're always so nice Yeah, it's just these, it's just these softer textures to her voice Baby of, like that, you know she can belt that out in a full crackly fry tone however she wants to do it it's just for little bits like little bits here 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 she'll sprinkle in that softer very dry very intimate tone and it's clean maybe i've gotten so mean to you because you're always so nice you even smile when you are hurt Sugar-coated my words When you should have been breathing fire You were shown that you were fighting Oh, that's how you lost all your words Yeah, very cool little twist on the melody there da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it, it sounds straight out of a scat ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, You know When you should have been breathing fire You were shown that you were fighting Oh, that's how you lost all your words. I thought I told you I would miss it. I would you right from the start. Oh, just how it all the time blue. You are a fool to try. Cause I'm a bad. Valentine should have known If you only hear what you want to hear You're never gonna know me The thing with Angelina is like I could literally pick every single note and be like Oh, check that out. Oh, check that out. <laughs> Listen to that. Every single note she does something interesting to it and sometimes I just get so into these tiny, tiny details and how they sell Angelina's performances. Right here in this section, yeah, even the way she's saying like, should of known, the of, the way she really hit that, should of known. And when you when you look at the word should have, should have, or should have is what it's short for, the way she particularly says, should of known. It's such a stylistic choice there. It's so laid back. It's so jazz. It's so good. I thought I told you I would miss it. I would you right from the start. I love that. Oh, to I had it's all blue. You are a fool to try Cause I'm a bad valentine Should have known If you only hear what you want to hear You're never gonna know me Should have known If you only see what you want to see I thought I told you I would miss of you So cool. Yes, the octaves were interesting there. The changes to the melody, 
The new and different riffs in this version are so cool. <laughs> there was one in particular that was really, really fun. I, I need to hear it again. Sorry, but I do. I thought I told you I will miss of you. I'm a pain Wow. Listen to how crackly she got on that last note there. I want to hear it again anyway because it's such cool riffing. OMG. I want you from the start. I'm a pain oh, so crackly and also the way she's saying fool there's a tiny bit of like a crack to her voice there and it just packs such a it just packs such an emotional punch there listen to the way she sings the fool and then this last note the bad valentine so crackly you are a fool to joy cause I'm a pain <laughs> wow oh, that was a journey wasn't it that version was a journey very very different feel very different feel uh, this is this is just such a fun twist this one is smoky it's sultry it's moody it's mysterious it's black widow-ish while the main version is is like sassy and 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 swaggery and attitude and and i believe her like don't mess with her she's a bad valentine this this is like a whole different don't mess with her she definitely has a different character to this version of the song the exact same words very different interpretation by the same singer i i've talked to a lot of people who this is who this version is their preference i'm curious for you all which version is your preference this one or the main version for me i still love the main version i think it's a knockout radio friendly song as that version but this version is captivating alluring and i'm crazy about getting a whole new performance from Angelina that I would say is equally or perhaps more interesting and more complex than the main version. So I just love that they are both out there, that they both exist, that they both offer something completely different to us as listeners. Either version is certainly a masterpiece and I hope you enjoyed watching with, with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you have not seen my other Angelina Jordan reactions, you can find them right here. Thank you so much again, and I will see you next time.